Board certified dermatologist Dr. Dustin coming to you with some of the best videos I found on TikTok this week to react to and teach you a little bit about what is actually going on with the skin. We're starting out with some laser tattoo removal and there's some good ones coming up, so stick around. Our first video is laser tattoo removal on what looks like a black widow spider. Not a big fan of spiders myself, found one of these in my bedroom as a kid, so I have no problem getting rid of this one. The laser is going to take that ink, break it up into smaller pieces so that your body can get rid of it. It takes multiple treatments. They are performing liquid nitrogen on a lesion growing near the toenail. This may have started as an ingrown nail and it looks like something called a pyogenic granuloma, which is an overgrowth of blood vessels that commonly happens after minor trauma. This is laser hair removal. The laser is targeting the pigment inside the hair follicle and that heat damages the hair follicle so that it will not grow. Now laser tattoo removal in order to have a great result takes on average four to six treatments, sometimes more, and it generally only works on darker hair. This is an erbium or a CO2 laser being performed on scars on the back of the neck. This uses a laser that targets water in the skin to go down through the skin, break up that scar tissue, and with very small injuries, your body's able to heal with normal collagen and not scar-like collagen. Looks like we're using a pore mask here. You can see all of the blackheads and sebaceous filaments coming out here. Many of these will return without the right skincare routine. It looks like this patient is preparing for a rhinoplasty or a nose job. They're using anesthesia from the inside of the nose. I'm not ENT, so I don't know if that's great technique, but I worry about introducing bacteria from the nose underneath the skin. This is not a technique that I'm super familiar with. This thread will dissolve once it's applied to the skin with a little liquid, and it fills in the appearance of that wrinkle, but this is very temporary and not a long-term solution. They call this vitiligo removal, but this is medical tattoo. They're using a tattoo ink that matches the patient's normal skin because they suffer from vitiligo, which is an autoimmune attack on the pigment producing cells. And when it happens on the fingers, it's very difficult to treat. So this is a good way to cover up that appearance as long as the disease is not progressing. Obviously a painful place to get a tattoo, but the results will be good. This patient is going through laser hair removal Usually you'll trim the hairs a little bit and allow them to grow for a couple of days, but there's quite a bit of hair that's gonna create more heat and be a little more painful for the patient. But multiple treatments are needed and the result will be very good. I'm not sure what this treatment is, whether it's a plasma pen, but my instinct is this is not gonna do much to the skin. Maybe it's gonna kill some superficial bacteria, but I don't see this resulting in any long-term changes. This is a large scar, probably from a C-section that the patient is having lasered in order to improve the appearance of it. The laser is going to target water in the skin and help break up some of that scar tissue. I'll often combine laser treatment with other forms like steroid injections or non-ablative lasers to get multiple depths to relax inside that scar. This patient has acne keloidalis nuke on the back of their scalp. This is from multiple ingrown hairs and an inflammatory reaction that not everybody goes through, but it leads to this scar-like appearance on the back of the scalp. Now, plucking these hairs in some individuals provides relief and can improve the appearance. For other people, it may increase the risk of new ingrown hairs coming back in that area of scar tissue, so you have to be careful when going through this kind of procedure. The technique looks pretty good here, but it's not being done in a medical setting, it's being done with a barber. So here's the before, and here's the after. The lighting is different, but from those two views, I would have to say it looks better, but it's hard to tell. Guys, thank you for joining me. Remember when you watch, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, it helps to support my mission of providing free dermatology care in my mobile clinic where we go out and see people who don't have insurance or otherwise wouldn't be able to afford care. So simply sticking around for the duration of the video like this, I have to thank you for that. Share the video if you think somebody else would enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.